Aquarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you had a beautiful Valentine and I hope this week is going to be beautiful for you too. So let's see what uh, is in uh, around, what kind of energy is around you this week. This is your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of February 2020 and um, I do go out live every day unless something comes in between of course and I am getting busier um, there's a new website up so go and have a look at the, the website there's different readings on offer and if, if you would like an extended reading and otherwise come into the live sessions and do super chats I also give free cards away and there's also super stickers uh, you can find all the information below uh, in the description box and you can find also the button in the top right hand corner, the I with the little dot. And you, if you click on there, then you can be taken straight away, straight through to the website. And let me know what you think of the website. So I'm using the... Um, Enchanted Dream Tarot and I'm using the Metatron cards and Angel Feather cards this week. First of all, um, Aquarius, we are going into Aquarius this week um, on the 21st and you have a birthstone. I'm putting in birthstones. Um, well, you know that you must be used to me if you are a follower and if you're new, you'll get used to me. I bring in lots of information. I work with the angels, with colours, with the chakras and what the angels mean and uh, that which angel is associated with the angel feather for instance and um, you'll get to know how I work but it's quite unique I think and my followers, my cyber babes love it. We are a happy family and you can be a member you can also be a cyber angel if you join us in the live sessions. Um, Aquarius, your birthstone is either amethyst or a moonstone. And I can see quite a lot of purple in here, especially with this esoterical geometrical sign of uh, Metatron, Archangel Metatron. And amethyst is good for headaches, migraines, uh, and calming, and also uh, healing. Okay, let's get started with the readings, my darling. And here we go. Um, we have, for the first card, we have strength. And you are in your strength on the 17th, Aquarius. And strength is also number eight, and it's the powerhouse so you are in your power and this lady um, um, has the strength because she tamed the lion with patience and love so today you might have a little bit more patience than normal um, and a lot of love and nurturing to give okay you are definitely in balance and look at this beautiful yin and yang card this is the yin and yang, masculine and feminine, the opposites. So your masculine and your feminine side, Aquarius, will be in balance. And it says the de, uh, duality, duality, balance needed. If you are not in balance, then try to get in balance by being patient and meditate. In the middle of the week, we have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands in this deck is not here. All the men are excluded, as this deck represents the feminine side. But you could be meeting um, the King of Wands. This could be an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius Aquarius. Uh, perhaps your partner is already a fire sign. And... He is definitely here on Wednesday. He might be fiery, he might have a new idea, um, or you could be meeting one, as I said. 
So if you are going out with a with a fire sign, they are going to be really active and they have a lot of passion. Look at it, boom, it's just jumping off the card. All that fire, all that energy. All, uh, so there might be something in the pipeline. Um, might be going on holiday, traveling or something. He, he's got something in store for you. And you might be uh, more like a, uh, the king of wands. You might want uh, something and you're going into action. You're more business-like, more masculine. The masculine side might be coming out of you. The business side, the logical side, um, the, the creative side. Because that is what uh, the fire signs stand for and also passion. If you do meet somebody, then make sure of this sign. Make sure that you know your boundaries and their boundaries. And please let them know what your boundaries are. Then it can grow into a permanent relationship instead of just passion. For the Metatron card, we have the rose, the love, relationships and harmony. So there is harmony in your relationships. Like I said, a lot of passion and it's number six, and you are in balance, and so is he, uh, because this is balance, six is balance. You might not have been in balance in the beginning of the week, but you're certainly back in balance and action in the middle of the week. On Friday, we have the six of cups. It might be somebody from your past coming back, that is a fire sign, or you might be reminiscing, looking back, to your childhood. If somebody is coming back, then they most probably will be bringing you a gift. Then we, that, it, I'll show you the picture. It is so beautiful. Look at all the mirrors and the pictures, all her ancestors. And she's looking at each little pot of flowers. And she's just remembering them, perhaps saying, thank you for protecting me and or oh, I love you, they could still be alive. Okay, then we have the Cosmos 20, and this is mirrors you. And look at all these mirrors or paintings. I think they are more pictures than mirrors, but they do look a bit like a shape of old mirrors, and they're reflecting the past. And what is reflecting you? Mirrors you. What mirrors you? Is it a are you, uh, is it a grandmother, is it an aunt, is it a child that mirrors you and your beautiful strength and patience and love as you are back in balance. Um, Metatron has cleared your chakras du during the week. He's been there helping you, giving you strength and love and balance. This is just like um, a, a diamond sitting, a facet. You've been polishing all the facets and, and you can still keep on polishing them up. Okay, and this is an esoterical geometrical sign um, or shape that Metatron uses to heal you with. So he might be healing you on Friday um, and you yourself on Friday from things from the past. Perhaps somebody that's left you. Uh, all could be coming back. They left you and they're coming back now and they're bringing you their excuses, for example, or an other present. But you're definitely in balance and beauty reflects you and also the quality of your ancestors. You definitely have victory as you have the Ace of Swords. You have Victory, that's the card for victory. Look at that crown. You are a winner. And the Ace of Swords also stands for new beginnings. New beginnings in wisdom. New be that could be that you're starting a new course or you're starting to learn something new or something has become clear to you. If you are in a judicial situation, then uh, you have victory and it's the honesty has come and surfaced because honesty and uh, justice will always come. Don't give up. Okay, you will get what you deserve. 
and they will get what they deserve. And like I always say, if you've been good, you'll get it back threefold. So you're getting back big time because the ace is a new beginning. There could be a new love, and that could be an air sign, that could be a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarian, one like you. As this is your reading, you're definitely in your power. And here we've got the cards, the chakra, chakra, the light body. And chakra, um, chakra, it has this, the two syllables, there is like karma, Car sorry, karma, karma, chakra, karma. So you are getting it back threefold. You are being cleansed as something has become clear to you. And the angel Metatron is with you, but also the other angels. They are giving you a new beginning because you've got 38 and 38 is 11. And that's the porthole that the angels give you to make a new start. Wow. And this is just also below the Ace of Swords. Now, definitely you've got a big new start, perhaps a second chance with somebody that you couldn't be with in the past and they've come back and you are taking a leap of faith. The Fool, you've got the Fool. Something has come full circle and you're taking that next step. Perhaps the next level in the relationship. Like I said, they would like to try again. They can be with you now, and as they couldn't in the past. Perhaps they weren't emotionally in balance, or you weren't in balance. Perhaps you were tied up in something else, a study, and you've got the victory now. So now is the time for you and them. You have the angel aqua feather, um, that is aquamarine. And I just gave you a birthstone. But if you've got an aquamarine, then wear it. Because it will also heal you and bring you clarity. And it will support you emotionally because it's really the stone of Pisces. And they are for spirituality. They stand for spirituality, sensitivity and emotional uh, balance. Okay, emotions. Okay. So you have a healing hands. The angels acknowledge that you have unique healing talents and abilities. Your magical prowess is required in service. So perhaps you might be healing this help to heal this person or you've helped to heal this person and to bring them back into balance and not only yourself. Um, the angels that are associated with um, the, this card are Archangel Raphael and Metatron because Metatron's cards are here. So you've got two angels and he who heals the physician and the angelic realm. That is what Archangel stands for. He also heals physical conditions and ailments and guides and assists all healers. Will He will guide you into healing work, either mainstream or complementary. Um, so this could be your new study, going into the health service, um, because nurses need uh, scissors to cut bandages. And that is how you can relate it to the um, to the swords and you are strong enough and the cups are there as well the nurturing side so your nurturing side and your strength will be coming out this week like I said you can wear aquamarine with this card and you can also use malachite chlorite avatrine and emerald, jade, and chaffine, and serpentine, and moss agate. So those are some of the um, colors that you can use. Now, there is no um, uh, color for the chakra um, as such, because you've got aquamarine, 
and your chakras have all been cleansed. So you've really got all the angels with you. But um, clarity, talking, talking and emotions. So if you need to call upon uh, Archangel Michael, he will help you to get clarity. And emotions is jovial. So um, you will be in balance. So ask them to help and assist you if it is also regarding to healing uh, someone else. As the angels have called upon you, Archangel Raphael, um, to heal others and use your talents to give out this beautiful healing, love and nurturing sight. And that's related to the strength card. Awesome. It is an absolutely beautiful reading. And if you have any other questions, then please contact me. Um, go to the website or below this video and you can find the email address and the address of the website. And I hope you have a beautiful week. Something is going to become clear to you. You'll have wisdom and you are standing in your strength. Boom. You are in balance. Wow. Please share and like this reading with family and friends. And I hope to meet you in the live session. Okay. And until then, please give us the thumbs up. Take care and be blessed.